You are not simply the sum total of the genes you were born with. You are the user and guide for your genes, the author of your biological story. No prospect in self-care is more exciting. Due to the research and development that's been done in the Human Genome Project, our understanding of genetics has vastly expanded over the last two decades. We now know that this old idea of good versus bad genes is completely outdated. One reason we called our book Super Genes is that we actually want to raise the bar for what you expect your genes to do for you. Yeah, so the idea is that depending on how you live your life, your gene activity will change. And the question is, can we do certain things in our life every day that will have our genes best serve us to help stave off disease and age in a healthy manner? And the idea behind what a super gene is, is that when you're living your life in a way where your genes are automatically serving you to live in the healthiest possible way with the greatest well-being, then we call these super genes. The mind-body connection isn't like a footbridge connecting two banks of a river. It's more like a telephone line, many telephone lines in fact, teeming with messages and each message as tiny as drinking orange juice with pulp in the morning or eating an apple, that's being received by the entire system. Yeah, the point is that every single little thing you can do in your life and to, that tweaks your gene activity to being more healthy for you, the odds are higher that you'll have greater health and well-being. Uh, we like to say that to have super genes, you need to learn to live like a cell, to not overindulge, to learn to live with perfect balance. And every cell is eavesdropping on what you think, say, and do. Here's the promise of super genes. When you were born, you were dealt a deck of cards. We teach you how to play that deck of cards.